We've looked at black body radiation in our previous video. Another study that led to the discovery of quantum mechanics is the photoelectric effect. In this experiment, Albert Einstein shone light of different frequencies on a metal surface. At long wavelengths and low frequencies, no electrons were ejected from the surface. At some higher frequency, called the threshold frequency, electrons were able to be ejected. Above that threshold frequency, electrons were ejected and gained kinetic energy. It was frequency rather than amplitude that was the requirement for ejection of electrons. The fact that light was able to bump into and push electrons at all told Einstein that light can behave as particles called photons. The beams of light that had higher frequencies also had higher energies. The ones at lower frequency did not have enough energy to elect, eject the electrons. The relationship between energy and frequency was found to be E equals H nu, where E is energy, H is Planck's constant, and nu is frequency. Planck's constant is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. We can use the equation E equals H nu to solve for either energy or frequency. In this problem, we are asked to find the energy of a photon with a frequency of 6.00 times 10 to the 12 seconds to the minus one. We are given Planck's constant. You do not need to memorize it. In this problem, since E is by itself and we want to solve for energy, we can use the equation as is. We just plug in our values. Notice seconds in Planck's constant cancels out with per second in frequency. So we come out with units of joules in our answer. Joules is a common unit of energy. When we multiply Planck's constant and the frequency in this problem, we come out with 3.98 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Both equations that we have learned in this chapter have frequency as one of the variables. If we solve for frequency using one equation, we can plug the number we solve for into the other equation. Remember, h and c are both constants, and remember to use the correct units. Wavelength must be in meters to go into the equation, and it will be in meters coming out of the equation. Here is an example problem where we know the wavelength and have to solve for the energy. The wavelength given in the problem is 494 nanometers. Planck's constant and the speed of light are both given in the problem. We're going to go from wavelength to frequency using the C equals lambda nu equation, and from frequency to energy using the E equals H nu equation. Wavelength has to be in meters for our first equation. So we take our 494 nanometers and multiply by 10 to the minus nine and get 4.94 times 10 to the minus seven meters. Since we are trying to solve for frequency, we need frequency by itself on one side of the equal sign. We divide our first equation by lambda and get nu equals c divided by lambda. We plug in the speed of light for c and we plug in our wavelength in meters for lambda. Notice meters in the numerator cancels out with meters in the denominator, leaving us with units of per second for our frequency. Our frequency is 6.0729 times 10 to the 14 per second. Our second equation, E equals H nu, is already in the form we need since we are solving for energy and it is already by itself on one side of the equal sign. We plug in Planck's constant for h and our calculated frequency for nu and come out with 4.03 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. What is the wavelength of light that has an energy of 2.87 times 10 to the minus 21 joules? h is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds and C is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Is the answer A, 5.70 times 10 to the minus 46 meters, B, 6.93 times 10 to the four nanometers, C, 1.30 times 10 to the 12 nanometers, or D, 
7.73 times 10 to the minus 13 nanometers. The correct answer is B, 6.93 times 10 to the 4 nanometers. In this problem, we are going from energy to frequency to wavelength. The equation that relates energy and frequency is E equals H nu. So we use that equation first. Before we do, we rearrange it to solve for frequency. We divide both sides by H and get nu equals E over H. We plug in our values from the problem and get 4.3288 times 10 to the 12 per second. Now that we have frequency, we can plug it into the equation that relates frequency and wavelength, C equals lambda to nu. Since we are solving for wavelength, we rearrange to get wavelength by itself. Our rearranged equation is lambda equals C divided by nu. We plug in the speed of light and our calculated frequency and come out with 6.93 times 10 to the minus five meters. This number does not match answer choice A, which is the only answer choice in meters. That means we should change our answer to nanometers. We change to nanometers by dividing by 10 to the minus nine, and we come out with 6.93 times 10 to the four nanometers.